The muscles of the chest region include the deltoid, the trapezius, the stemocladiomastoid, the pectoralis major and minor, the external oblique muscles, the latissimus dorsi, and the serratus anterior. This is our first exercise. It is called the cat camel. It uses the erector spinae, the latissimus dorsi, the serratus anterior, and the trapezius. To start off the cat camel, come to a hands and knees position on an exercise mat, positioning your knees underneath your hips and the crease of your wrist directly underneath your shoulders. Keep your spine in a neutral position, avoid any excess sagging or arching. Pull the shoulder blades towards your hips, avoid any sagging or arching. The second position is also known as cat phase. Gently exhale, tuck your tail under and use your abdominal muscles to push your spine upwards towards the ceiling, making the shape of an angry cat with your back. Hold this position for 10 to 15 seconds. Lengthen your neck and allow your head to reach towards your chest, maintaining alignment with the spine. The third position is also known as cow. Tip your tail towards the ceiling, increasing the arch in your mid and lower back. Allow the abdomen to stretch towards the floor. Pull your shoulders blades down your back. Hold this position for 10 to 15 seconds before returning to the first position. Our next exercise is known as push-ups. Push-ups use the pectoralis major, the deltoids, serratus anterior, and the corda combracialis. To begin push-ups, get on the floor and position your hands slightly wider than your shoulders. Raise up onto your toes so you are balanced on your hands and toes. Keep your body in a straight line from head to toe without sagging in the middle or arcing your back. Then, keep a tight core throughout the entire push-up. Inhale as you slowly bend your elbows and lower yourself until your elbows are at a 90 degree angle. Exhale as you begin pushing back up to the start position. Next, we will be doing supine snow angel wipers. These use the anterior and medial deltoids, the posterior deltoids, the rotary cuff, serratus anterior, and the transverse abdominis. The first step is to lie on your back on an exercise mat or a firm surface, bending your knees until your feet are positioned flat on the floor and allow your arms to rest by your sides. Then pull your shoulders down towards your hips. The second step is to gently slide your arms along the mat slash floor to an overhead position to the point where your hands can touch and your elbows have a comfortable bend. Try to keep the back of your upper arms, forearms, wrists, and hands in contact or near the mat slash floor. Use the same motion to return to the starting position. And this is an upper body stretch. It uses the pectoralis major, the pectoralis minor, the trapezius, deltoid, bicep brachii, and latissimus dorsi. To begin the stretch, stand up straight and put your hands over one another with palms facing out and pull down. Next, Breathe in and pull your arms away from your body and lift your chin up so that both arms and head are about 45 degrees away from the body. Then return to the starting pose.